Hey YouTube, it's Christy Nitro from the fabulous Las Vegas area and today I want to take you on a craft room tour. I've been wanting to do this video forever it seems and I know a lot of you have been waiting forever it seems. Everyone starts off with the door so da da, it's a door just like any other door I just like to hang things off of mine. I already did a video on the entry wall and I love the way it turned out so I will put the link to that video and my old craft room tour in the description box below because I went from an itty bitty little corner in a room to now growing up and getting my own house and making it my own. <sighs> it's about time, right? On the back wall here, we just got Ikea two months ago. Yes, just got Ikea and you guys probably know by now I'm an Ikea nut. I want to do a gallery wall or I want to get those little shelves and put stuff on it but I'm not sure what I'm doing yet so right now it's just got some reeves that I made and a crafting table so when I have friends over we have a place to work. When I show you the overview of the room you guys are instantly blinded by the lights. Welcome to Vegas guys. Sunlight is a much and I love working with natural light so I can't get any better than this. The room itself is only 10 and a half by 14, so it's not a very big room. However, in this house, every room has oversized windows and vaulted ceilings, which make the space feel so much larger than it really is. Eventually, I want to do some oversized canvas or like a cityscape, but I ain't got time for that right now, so it is what it is. But if you saw this room when we first bought the house, it was the worst room in the house. It was three different colors, all dark and ugly colors, and the flooring was carpeted, and it was horrible. And I don't know how they got it that way, and sometimes it's better not to know, because the house isn't really that old. These are laminate, and I love them. Laminate has came such a long way, so anyone who's like, eh, it's not your old laminate, it's not your mom and dad's laminate anymore, this is amazing. I throw gunk, goop, I mean everything you can possibly think at it, and it holds up perfect to get it looking like new in a short amount of time, which is perfect for me because I'm not a big fan of mopping floors all the time. When we come straight to the left, this is my work desk. And it is also from Ikea four years ago, and this thing is held up perfect. I love this desk. Again, with throwing gunk and goop and whatnot, it's easy to clean and maintain. I love it. I will never have a white desk because I am too much of a slob for that. One Ikea cart, two Ikea carts. Yes, it's real, people. <laughs> Any way that you can store something and they're mobile, perfect, awesome. So then when we go directly and this way, you'll see all the different ways I distressed wood. This is also an IKEA hack. I bought my first one like seven years ago from IKEA and I've been making them ever since. They're so easy to do and I love distressing wood any way I can. So there's nothing like making something the way you want it and then lighting it on fire. Good times, good times, let me tell you. So then we're going to go into the closet space, which lets me give you an overview of this. Eventually it's going to be changed up because I want another work area. You guys will find out for what in a minute. But right now it's fine, right? It's perfect. It's got some old school work, some new school work. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A lot to look at, right? And great for storage. Uh, here is all my ribbons. And the holder is actually something that they were going to get rid of at work. And I was like, oh no, 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 no. I'm taking it home with me. I just spray painted it white. It was red. And I love it. Some of my favorites up there, some cards from friends. I have Edmonds when I lived in Edmonds, Washington. So he's my little souvenir from that adventure. And I'm a big kid who loves minions. So you're going to see them everywhere. That is my work vest, but I don't really wear a vest anymore. I wear my apron, and then that's my apron, which I wish I could wear to work. It's my favorite pattern, but with skulls, so bonus. Behind that, you're gonna see an oversized portfolio. If I was gonna come to your house and do some interior design work for you, that's what I would bring so it holds all my samples and palettes and whatnot. More of the prints, my favorite print you're gonna see everywhere. And 
Uh, just a quick overview. How I hold my stickers, my pocket letters, inserts for like Project Life, then kits, 8x8 eight eight and 6x6, six 12x12s six, 12 and kits, uh, fine art supplies, just some of them, more like mixed media. Don't forget, I've been a fine art student, so I've been collecting forever, it seems some dies, an old camera. Those are journals that I have finished and then below that is magazines. Like interior design magazines, crafting magazines, you guys get it. I told you I was going to put these out and I did. They are the journaling cards and I need to use them more so that's how I have them out in the open so I use them. Stencils. Some fun little fierce goodies. This is kind of like a everything. <laughs> um, you guys have sent me all of these cigar boxes. It is so hard to find anything vintage here in Vegas because Vegas is a fairly new place. So these were all imported from you guys and they hold my pre-made cards in categories and seasons and whatnot. Um, more storage things, jewelry, little storage containers and whatnot. That's how that goes told you guys before I could kill a cactus and I've proven that so fake plants all the way for me some things I like to look at there and then these are my December dailies and uh, albums and minis and stuff that I have completed and up top are my favorite scrapbook albums look at this can this be any more me a Celtic goggle and I was so happy that at a rest stop I could find something with my name spelled the way it's supposed to be. Everyone always spells it like C-H, yeah, no. Where I hold my reusable bags and this is a catch-all. I hate catch-alls because I keep catching, but it's like chipboard albums and things that don't have a home just yet. Moving on to this first little doohickey here, we'll start from the top. Yes, it's real people. That's my washi obsession and it's forever growing. <laughs> uh, the Cricut machine was actually donated to me from an amazing friend, Kelly, who is Ambulance Girl 77. She really couldn't believe I didn't have a machine and I couldn't believe she was going to give it to me. And that's how that went down and I love it. And another reason I want to redo my closet is because I want to kind of make it a workspace so I use it more. Here is where I store photos and Scrapbook albums I have already completed, lace, elastics, trims, all that go here. Uh, floral supplies like the Chanel stems, I have a few napkins in there and whatnot. You guys can see what's in there. Just a lot of stuff to make a mess. Down below is what I like to call my embellishment bin. It has the flowers, doilies, all the pretty things that we all love to use on our projects. The rest of them here are like things to alter, wood stuff. Again, love working with woods. My odd collections go here. If anyone goes on travels or I go on a travel, this is the money. I'm like, give me your money. No, I love foreign money. It's amazing to use. And then the top one's googly eyes. That is a mini lunchbox, of course, with minions. And it holds those mini erasers because I am a grown woman who needed an ice cream cone eraser. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Some books that made it through the moves and that is vintage R2-D2, still chillin'. That guy is always striking a fierce pose. Take you back up here. Nothing exciting, just more ways I store stuff like dyes and uh, wood pieces, natural pieces like burlap and whatnot and things for my journal making. Up top here you can see buttons, glue sticks, and so many wood stamps. Yes, I have way too many wood stamps. That's why, again, I would like a different way to store them. Because the ones at the bottom are kind of a pain to get to. Take you up, and you can see that, yes, I draw on my wall. Old wreath. Um, some amazing stuff that you guys have sent me and some things I have made. But if I take you to the other side, here you can look at cool stuff. We walk to the other side. 
of stuff I altered and bought, you know, I'm a pug mom. So I had to do that. It's ribbon, normal ribbon. You can see I don't have much. Amazing, amazing artwork from My Fairy Treasures. It's one of the first things that she ever gave me and I love it to death. So it's just an altered clipboard I put it on. Great for framing stuff. You guys have seen this, I'm sure, a million times over. Again, it was blue and I just spray painted it white. More stuff, oil burner, gotta do it. You guys know what that is. And then more fabulous inspiration from my crafty friends. This is all stuff you guys have sent me. So kudos to you guys, it's beautiful. I love it. Of course, back in the day when I had more time, I used to paint a lot. Not so much anymore, but you can see the roll just in case I want to make more canvas for myself. And these are some on-the-go projects, art journals, whatnot, tools, supplies, spray bottles, um, on-the-go things, like down in here is like all charcoals, paints, oils, stuff like that. More stuff to make a mess, pretty much. <laughs> when we turn over this way, this is the second um, cart, but first one I'm showing you. My whole goal was to get one of these carts to put the paints and whatnot on, so when I do have the time to paint, it's available. Then the planning obsession came along and I jumped on board because to me it's another journal. So these are all the supplies for that. Yes, nobody needs those many sticky notes. So if you guys need some, let me know. Come on over, take some of these off my hands. Extra laminating sheets and planner goodie stuff. Down below, you guys know I'm a journal junkie, so this is how I store my art journals. And it's a go thing, again, because I like to art journal here, there, and everywhere, not just at the craft desk. Over here is those adult coloring books. And then down below is extra little canvases and albums and whatnot. Things I need to get to. This is how I store my cling stamps. This one basically holds all of them, like mixed media ones, anything you can think of. Next to it is like the ephemera that isn't the cutesy stuff, like the paper ephemera and whatnot. And then next to that is like holiday stamps and bigger stamp sets and collections and blah blah blah. Where the awesome beats are coming from. Hello kitty. Yeah, I gotta have gnomes, I'm sorry guys, I'm obsessed with gnomes. My trace table went into that in my last video, label maker obviously, and you guys are seeing the laminating machine. Nothing that exciting, just have to have them in the open so I use them. Coming over here, this is now in arm's reach of my desk, so it's my go-to's. Wood burner, always gotta have some of the baby wipes around and stuff like that. All right, so this is what I used to call my store. It's still kind of my store, but now it's an arm's reach, so it's those must-have things, must-have supplies. My go-to papers, some file folders, you guys can see. Just things that I use and need to, you know, replace. On top, more fabulous things from you guys. I taught a fabric castell class, and that's how that came out. And then some oversized punches that would not fit in the little drawer where I keep my punches. So that's that. Extra lighting is always a plus. And now you guys are at my desk area. Oh, hey. So this is where I sit. So when I'm doing my videos, I'm in this nice comfy chair. And yeah, I have back problems. So don't, well, okay, enough of that. <laughs> but desk area and I'm just covering my mat, which has seen better days as well. The way I store markers and whatnot, and here is my distress inks. Um, more just like things and um, adhesives. Sharpies, I should sponsor Sharpie because I use them all the time. My spectrums, more distress goobies, and then things to make more of a mess. Yep. <laughs> So this is um, what I look at on the daily and I love it. I love maps. I love stuff like that. I like daydream all the time about going to these amazing places. And one day it's on my bucket list to get to some of the places I wasn't able to go just yet. Um, of course, the go-tos. We have this. Mine houses everything I need in a pinch. Um, this is kind of like... Um, how do I put it? Like a uh, paper ephemera pieces for like those flip books and pocket letters and little things that I want to give to you guys. Paints, 
Um, these house my little, little wood veneers and my metal embellishments. That's how I store them. Up top here, the melting clock. Again, one of my favorite artists. You've probably seen little things inspired by him here, there, and everywhere. Um, I have these out all year, but now it just seems like, oh, I'm, you know, ahead of the game. But no, Halloween stuff here, there, and everywhere. More stuff from you guys. You guys are getting the thing, and then Faber Castell pile of goodness. All right, more fake plants. You guys know the story on that already. Things I've made, blah, blah, blah. This started off as the inspiration board and I need to get it back the way it once was when I was at the apartment. But right now it holds some more good inspiration. I always get cards when I go to museums and whatnot because I love going to art museums. Um, canvas that I've already done and some of the larger ones. And then we're going up top, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, a grown woman who needs that many cute pens. This girl, I love those things. Uh, more things I've made. This amazing jar was also given to me from someone who is so fierce. How true is that? Love. And then my diploma. So yeah, we've reached it to the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any questions? You know what to do down in that comment box. Another overview without hopefully, yeah. Thank you guys, and as always, keep crafting.